We have different types of maize, namely flint corn, pod corn, field corn, flower corn, dent corn, and sweet corn, but all have different purposes. So what is so special about sweet corn? Why is it called sweet corn and not sweet maize? Furthermore, have you ever wondered how sweet corn is made or how corn becomes sweet corn? My friends, the world of corn is much more complex and intriguing than one might initially think, and today we're going to delve into the sweet juicy mystery of sweet corn. First off, what exactly is sweet corn? Well, it's a special kind of corn that's harvested while the kernels are still tender and immature. Unlike field corn, which is picked when the kernels are dry and mature, sweet corn is plucked from the stalk while it's still in its milky stage. This is what gives sweet corn its signature taste, a delightful blend of sweetness and crunch that's nothing short of irresistible. But what sets sweet corn apart from its cousin, the regular corn? It's all in the genes. Sweet corn has a genetic mutation that slows down the conversion of sugar into starch in the corn kernels. This means that the kernels retain their sugary sweetness for a longer period of time, giving us the sweet corn that we all know and love. Now let's sweeten the deal with some corny facts. Did you know that an ear of corn always has an even number of rows? Or that corn is grown on every continent except Antarctica? And here's a kernel of truth that might surprise you. Corn is actually a type of grass. So, whether you're a fan of corn on the cob, a lover of creamed corn or a devotee of corn chowder, there's no denying the appeal of this versatile vegetable. Sweet corn has a way of making our meals more vibrant, our barbecues more festive, and our taste buds more satisfied. But have you ever stopped to ponder the journey your sweet corn takes before it ends up on your dinner plate? It's quite a fascinating process involving a blend of nature, science, and a whole lot of hard work. So buckle up corn enthusiasts, because we're about to embark on a delicious adventure. Now, are you ready to discover the journey of sweet corn from farm to table? Imagine a vast field bathed in sunlight. Can you see the rows and rows of towering corn stalks? This is where the magic of sweet corn begins. In these fields, farmers prepare for the planting process, a delicate task of choosing the right type of soil. One that's rich in nutrients, well-drained and capable of retaining moisture. The perfect time of year for planting is also crucial. Think early spring, when the soil has warmed enough to ensure the seeds germinate properly. Once planted, these seeds spring into life, shooting up into robust stalks that reach for the sky, their silky tassels waving in the breeze. After a few months, the fruits of the farmer's labor are ready. The corn is ripe and ready to be picked. Each ear is harvested with care, preserving the succulent kernels within. It's a bountiful time in the field, a celebration of hard work and patience. The corn is now ready to be harvested and processed to become the sweet corn we all enjoy. Ever wondered how the corn harvested from these fields transforms into the sweet, juicy kernels we love? Well, it's all about timing and careful processing to bring us the sweet corn we savor. You see, the transformation of regular corn into sweet corn is a natural process that occurs when the corn is left to mature on the plant. As the corn matures, its natural sugars begin to convert into starches, which is what gives sweet corn its unique sweet flavor. However, the moment the corn is harvested, this sugar to starch conversion accelerates rapidly. This is why timing is crucial in the harvesting of sweet corn. The corn must be harvested at the peak of its sweetness, which is generally within a few days of the silk appearing on the top of the corn. It's a delicate balance of allowing the corn to mature without letting it become too starchy. Once harvested, the corn undergoes a process known as blanching. This involves briefly boiling the corn to stop the sugar to starch conversion, preserving the corn's sweetness. The corn is then quickly cooled to halt the cooking process and maintain that crisp, fresh texture we all enjoy. Next, the kernels are removed from the cob. This is done either by hand or with a machine that strips the kernels away, leaving behind the cob. It's a mesmerizing process to watch, as rows of golden kernels fall away, ready for the next stage of their journey. The kernels are then canned or frozen to maintain their sweetness and freshness. The canning process involves packing the kernels into cans, adding a dash of water or brine, and then sealing the cans before they're heated to kill any bacteria. This ensures the corn remains safe to eat and retains its sweet taste for a long period. On the other hand, freezing involves spreading the kernels out on a tray and freezing them rapidly. Once frozen, the kernels are packed into bags and kept at sub-zero temperatures, preserving their sweetness and freshness for months on end. And voila! The corn has now become the sweet corn that we find in our supermarkets and grocery stores. 
A simple yet fascinating transformation from field to fork, wouldn't you agree? So, what did we learn about the journey of sweet corn today? We've unraveled the enigma of sweet corn, right from its humble beginnings in the vast cornfields to its transformation into the sweet juicy kernels we all love. It's been quite an adventure, hasn't it? We discovered that the cornfield with its tall green stalks reaching for the sky is where the magic begins. Each kernel of corn starts its life there, nestled in a cocoon of green husk and silken threads. But not all corn is destined for sweetness. The transformation from corn to sweet corn is where things really get interesting. It's not just about picking the corn at the right time. No, it's much more than that. It's about the hard work of farmers, their knowledge of the land, their understanding of the seasons, and their ability to harness these elements to create something truly special. Sweet corn is not just another vegetable. It's a testament to the power of nature and human ingenuity. It's a symbol of the bountiful harvests that our Earth can provide when we work in harmony with it. But let's not forget about the journey that each kernel of sweet corn takes after it leaves the farm. It travels miles, sometimes even crossing oceans to reach our plates. And along the way it's cleaned, processed, packaged and shipped with utmost care to ensure that when it finally lands on our plates, it's as fresh and delicious as it was when it was plucked from the stalk. But the journey doesn't end there. Once the corn is on your plate, it's up to you to turn it into a culinary masterpiece. Whether you're grilling it on the barbecue, boiling it for a simple side dish, or transforming it into a complex gourmet meal, remember that each kernel of sweet corn holds a world of possibilities. Next time you enjoy a bowl of sweet corn, remember the journey it took to get to your plate. Bon appétit! We hope you enjoyed joining us on the journey of sweet corn from field to fork. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. It helps us to keep bringing you more fascinating stories like this one. Share this video with your friends and family, and let them in on the sweet corn secret. And if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to stay updated on our latest releases. We have many more delicious journeys to share with you. And remember, every time you sit down to enjoy a meal, you're not just eating food, you're partaking in a story, a journey that spans miles and crosses borders. So until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep eating. Stay tuned for more delicious journeys. Bon appétit!